Hey guys, I uh, thought I'd take a look at some different block libraries today. Um, some things I've seen on the Facebook community for Generate Press, uh, or people have questions about, in particular, Cadence blocks keeps uh, coming up a good bit. And it's actually a plugin that I wasn't really familiar with uh, until I just recently took a look. Uh, so there are lots of different um, add-on libraries. Uh, they're plugins, but they're add-ons for Gutenberg to add new types of blocks. Uh, this Ultimate Add-ons is a popular one, and you can go to each of the plugin pages and see the different things they that they have. Um, Coblox is another one that uh, is obviously output by GoDaddy or created. Or, I'm sorry, not created. Uh, someone else created it and they bought it out, I guess. Uh, but here you go. Accordion block, alert, author profile, buttons, lots of different kinds. Uh, Atomic Blocks is one of the first. And it's now owned by, I think, Studio Press or... I don't know, it's called Genesis Blocks, so that, that makes me think of uh, uh, the Studio Press team, the Genesis theme. Um, and it, it's cool, it's lightweight. It's one that I used early on to add some new things, like especially uh, accordion block. Um, now here is the Cadence uh, Blocks. And like I said, it's not one that I'd looked into a lot, and it is cool. Um, it doesn't have, you know, a whole lot of blocks like these other these others appear to, like you know, advanced Gutenberg's and co blocks, things like that. But what it does have is a lot of flexibility, uh, way more than I initially expected. There is a pro version, but man, the free version had lots of stuff in it and lots of customization, which I'm going to show you in just a minute, um, which I'm kind of digging. Um, Gitwid is one that I recently discovered for another project, and I really like the way they do stuff. It's very lightweight. There's not a lot of options for, for uh, the different blocks, but they do give you, um, you know, you can customize the features via CSS, and uh, they even have, did I pass it? They have a, uh, a GitHub project with, uh, a SAS and CSS file. Here it is, the style kit to uh, that you can add to your project to target and customize the different blocks. So you can do it for code. And they even call themselves. Let's see, how do they put it for developers? That are. I'm sorry. Let's see. I saw that somewhere. Maybe I go to the home page. Um. Weedler Bespoke Software. Well. <laughs> anyway, okay, so maybe it's on here. My bad. Sends a library. Common blocks. Design for developers. There it is. And I get that because there's not a lot of options. And, and, and let's just jump in and, and talk about this. So I've installed on my test site here, uh, Cadence Blocks and Gitwid Blocks. And I'm calling this complementary blocks because I'm using Generate Press. I'm also using Generate Blocks. This is just my little testing site on my local computer running on Laragon. And as great as Generate Blocks is, it's more of a, an overall layout tool. You can create layouts with it and you can create components with it too. But when it comes to UI elements, user interface elements like tabs or like accordions or even carousels, like slideshows, things like that, um, you probably want something else. And short of using something like advanced custom fields to build your own blocks to do this stuff, you can look to these third-party libraries to add those features to your site. And again, I'm approaching this as if I'm offering this to my clients. Um, I'm working on a client site, let's say, and I know they're going to need these elements. And if budget allows, I will build something custom for them. If budget doesn't allow, I can look to these third parties and see what the features are and include them and hopefully set them up so that my clients have a nice experience using them. I hate clutter. 
And, you know, I've demonstrated that in my child theme overview, which I'm using my, there it is, my generate press child developer theme, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm using this as I show this demonstration. It's what I'm using in all these videos. Um, so let's jump in over here and I'm gonna, let's see, first of all, I need to fire up. I know I don't, we're not going to even, uh, use the code editor. I don't think so. Um, yeah, so let's, let's, I'm sorry, let's just take a look at this. So what I've done is I've installed both cadence blocks and get with blocks. And I was just going to go through each one of them and show the experience on the back end of WordPress and how it looks uh, on the front end. So here is Cadence Blocks. Or actually, you know what? Let's start with GitWid, actually. So I'm going to go to Pages. First, when you install GitWid, you do get some settings. And where did they go? Here we go. Okay. So, get with settings. When you install it, it appears under settings and writing. So, what I really like about get with is that they do very little in the way of creating this new interface that kind of takes over WordPress. It's very WordPressy, <laughs> yes, in the way that it feels. And you can do things like set up a custom content uh, width. Uh, you can enter in some API stuff for the blocks that you get to include. And very simply, you can say disable and, you know, maybe it should be check the ones you want to use, but instead you can disable the ones that you don't want to use. I don't want any overlap in what generate blocks already gives me. So, and, and you know, some of this stuff I'm just not going to use. Um, some of it could be handy and I can turn it on if I need to. But for right now, I'm looking at three main elements. I want an accordion. I want an image slider or carousel feature. And I want tabs. Now, this toggle is an alternate form of accordions. <clears throat> so accordions open one element at a time, whereas a toggle, you can open all of them, all of them at the same time. Well, not at the same time. They can all be open at one time. An accordion, and I'll show you an accordion when you open it, and then you open another, the previous one closes, whereas a toggle, they all stay open. Now, GitWid differentiates between the two, and that's, you know, fine. Um, but let's take a look at pages, and let's go to GitWid Blocks. <clears throat> So I've just set these up in different sections and I don't want to see that. I want to see, let me close that. There we go, my settings. So tabs, very basic, and you get some very basic options. Which tab is active? What kind of layout is there? You can even do tabs down the side. And the layout you get on the front end is very simple and very clean. And it doesn't really interfere with the theme at all. Same for accordions. You just type in the element. Uh, name, I'm sorry, you just click in there and you can type, here's the accordion heading, here's the accordion content. And here are toggles. And again, it differentiates between these blocks, but, so if I wanted to make an accordion, okay, we're going to use this. I can change a... Uh, an accordion block into either tabs or a toggle and it'll make all that happen for me and that is nice I like that toggles and an image slider um, 
again, it has some very basic features. You can control the height, but not on tablet or mobile. That must be a pro feature. You can select the image size. It even has some advanced features for how many slides you want to show at a time. And again, this looks like it may be, you know what? I did not notice that before. So that may be a pro feature. No, wait, I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. Because there is no pro feature. Get with blocks is free. As far as I know, there is no pro version of get with. So where image slider? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so sorry, I just wasn't looking at the settings correctly. So yeah, you get some different options as far as how many items uh, you want it to scroll and it's using slick slider or slick JS. Let's see. Yeah, using this, uh, which is a teeny bit concerning in that I don't think this is being supported anymore, but it's very popular. Um, I know that WP Show Posts Pro uh, also uses this for the carousel, and um, both GitWid and Gutenberg, I'm sorry, both GitWid and Cadence uh, use Slick.js for their uh, slide features. But I encourage you to download these and try them out. I wasn't going to make this like a thorough review, just showing some differences in the two blocks and ways you can use them to complement uh, generate blocks. And one of the things that I was um, interested in was you can actually insert, which you can see here, I've inserted within this toggle item uh, a generate blocks container and grid. So you can... You can do that. That's nice. So you can make uh, more complex layouts within the content items of these toggles or accordions or tabs. Um, yeah. So, and I guess I should show you because there is a difference when I insert, let's say, let's go ahead and add another, uh, well, there it is, tabs. And I like this too, that the icons for the GitWid blocks, they look pretty native. They don't look, you know, I know generate blocks are blue and that's cool, but they, they don't look crazy or wild or anything. They look like they're part of WordPress. And there's something about that that appeals to me. I like for the experience to be very cohesive. And, you know, when they go from one block to another as they're editing, it's not wildly different. Um, but let's insert another tabs group so you can see it just makes it. Uh, well, first, it's going to ask you, you know, how many do you want to start with? And I can start with five if I want to. And it just gives me those things. And I can leave it as element one or I can, you know, tab one. And tab one content goes here, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Um, and that's just how it works. And I can uh, move, I'm sorry, add elements or I can move elements around. So here's eight, moving it back and forth. I can trash that one. I can trash this one. I can duplicate one. Here's copy, you know. So nice. I, uh, I really like GitWid blocks. They also have, um, you know, some unusual blocks that some others don't have. And um, I really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Light, for example, where is it? Not image block. It's going to be like the very last one. Image hotspot. I actually needed something like this for client site recently. This is something I've not seen in other blocks, and, and you know that's that's a really cool feature. And you see how they popped in. You have icons in them. 
So yeah, so Gitwood's really cool. Um, check it out. It's, uh, you know, again, you'll, if you want to customize it, you'll have to, you know, get into the inspector and you can, you know, it's all styled very nicely. It has very clear classes applied that you can use to target the styling as you want to. You might want the border color to be, you know, a little bit darker. Um, you can certainly do that and add it to your CSS. So if you're more CSS savvy and you, you know, don't care that it's not a visual styling editor with these blocks and you want some really lightweight uh, blocks that just do things and they work and you can see all the area stuff is working so it's accessible. Um, yeah, Gitwood's cool. Uh, but now let's take a look at cadence blocks. <clears throat> so cadence has a lot of the same things and they just work a little bit differently. So, you know, again, like Gitwood, you can move things around and you can delete them. The interface is uh, pretty darn easy. And again, I can add whatever blocks I want. I can add a container, I can add a grid. But you will notice over here, you get lots and lots of different features, which again are great. You get color controls, you get width and spacing and borders and paddings and font settings and icon settings. And that's another thing to note is that um, cadence loads, I don't think Gitwid does. Let's take a look real quick. Yeah, Gitwid blocks loads CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. Uh, if we look at cadence blocks, and view the source, it loads Font Awesome, which, oh no, sorry, that's it, Gitwid, didn't it? So Gitwid is load, loading um, Font Awesome for the icons, and that is something that, I thought that Cadence was um, loading some of these as well. So wait, let's, let's try something. Yeah, bear with me. Um, so let's say this first tab, we're going to add an icon update and refresh. There's that little icon. Let's view the source. So Gitwid is loading its assets. I'm looking at the cadence blocks. Okay, Cadence may have just impressed me, and they have impressed me over and over again. So Cadence must be checking to see if, if Font Awesome is already loaded, and if it's not, it will not load Font Awesome again. If that's the case, that is nice. I've spoken too soon. <laughs> I'm looking for it. Oh, wait. Let's just look for Font Awesome. Okay, yeah. So Gitwid loaded it. So Cadence is not loading it again. That's pretty freaking cool. Okay, so that is the tabs. Let's see. What other options do we have? Structure settings. Advanced. Okay. This blew me away with the accordion stuff. Um, look at that. I can just click that and it picks the accordion. So again, you get lots of options with the accordion stuff. And you can, again, go in and just click wherever you want to edit and go for it. Um, one of the downsides of this, at least that I can see, is you cannot... No, I was wrong. Okay, yeah. yeah. So in here, too, 
but I'm a little, no, there it is. Okay. So yeah, so I can add whatever element I want. So I can add uh, generate press, uh, generate blocks, uh, you know, uh, containers and grids and things to the content for the blocks as well. One of the cool things I noticed about uh, Cadence though was in addition to all the options, you can go to structure settings. This is great. So you can enable for accordions. And by the way, there's no toggle element either. Jump around, sorry. There's no toggle element for the accordions, but you can change it to a toggle just with these settings. So start with all panes collapsed and panes closed when another opens. That makes it function more like an accordion. But this enable FAQ schema, that is pretty cool. That is something that GitWid Blocks did not do. And just to show you that, where is it? Right here. So it will automatically generate this uh, schema for your for your toggle for your accordion <laughs> to give it an FAQ schema. Google likes this, and you can look that up FAQ schema, and it will basically it makes your Google search results if it lands on a page uh, or, or provides a page that has this in it within the search results it will actually show some of the FAQ in the search results. Uh, that's cool. That's great for SEO. Um, and this plugin does it automatically. So I have to say, when I was going into this and I was doing my research, GitWid was kind of the winner on my list. It was simple. It was straightforward. Uh, it didn't have lots of bloated options, but uh, the more I dug into Cadence, the, the more I kind of liked it. Um, here is the carousel that Cadence provides. And again, it's kind of a um, more of a, it, it's called advanced gallery or let's see, is it? Yeah. Advanced gallery. So it gives you some different options for huh. now. I don't know if those are pro pro add on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so here's generally what I use, just the run-of-the-mill image slider. But you can choose some different uh, formats or image ratios, uh, thumbnail sizes, which I'm not using. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Just dig into it. Carousel settings, is it autoplay? What's the transition speed? Arrow styles, which is kind of uh, janky right here. And in Maybe because I have uh, GitWid installed as well. I'm not sure. But it looks fine on the front end. Yeah. And if I don't like the way this looks necessarily, I can come in and make my own changes. But I have a feeling this is being borked. And we can try this out real quick. I hope this video is not too long for everyone. <clears throat> and then I'm not jumping around too much, but I'm just kind of talking and going as things occur to me. So, cadence blocks. Let's, I'm sorry, not cadence blocks. Get with, let's switch this to draft real quick. I guess not that that really matters. And I'm just going to deactivate get with. Let's go back to pages. You know what? This will be fun to try too now and see if those assets load. Because I do care about uh, the things that load. Yep, it did fix it. Okay. Which I would never use those two at the same time anyway. So let's update again. And refresh cadence. And let's view source. Okay, let's look for font awesome. It's not loading font awesome. What? <laughs> Cadence blocks. So let's see, where is it getting the icons from? Holy cow, it's an SVG. Okay, another score for Cadence. 
that's great. So it's not loading yet another font library. It's loading a simple SVG. That's great. Okay. Well, let's look at, uh, well, okay. Sorry. No, let's look at Cadence Vlogs one more time before I go to the other things about it. So if I were to add another Cadence block, so here are the icons, which Again, I was saying that I really like for the stuff to look more WordPressy. You know, this is okay. I'm not gonna, you know, go down fighting over this. Uh, but the icons are obviously a little bit different than your standard WordPress icons. But that's okay. So if I add another tab, you get to pick which style you want. And the way it functions and I'm guessing you can change all of that in here it's just like some predefined uh, settings to um, to set up your your tabs or your accordion or whatever um, let's update one more time and we're gonna back out of this again just to keep um, the admin clean now if we go to settings and cadence blocks you get this interface and this you know isn't a deal breaker for me but this is one of those things where like they create their own kind of look and feel for the settings but ideally only admins would see this not editors and I like to set up a different role for you know when I hand over the site to my clients and uh, so they don't see all the stuff they don't need to but you can deactivate and activate only the elements or the blocks that you want to be usable and it does let you set up some uh, widths for your editor and you know can you change the editor width while you're editing yes okay so and it looks like it did have some settings here to uh, set your defaults so you could style uh, for example your accordions a specific way and make it that way for all of them when a new one is added <clears throat> So, but as you can see here, these have moved into Gutenberg. So let's take a look at that. And I had to dig into some documentation just to see what was going on, but I found a pretty cool feature. So if I click this cadence icon, I get uh, some things where you can change color palettes, but I like doing that through uh, generate press and you can see another tutorial I've done on on YouTube where you can add custom colors to the block editor and to the customizer all through generate press <clears throat> but you get these block defaults now here's where it gets <laughs> well really cool if you're a nerd like me and you like to keep the back end clean and um, clear out any stuff that's unnecessary so I can go to tabs for example and I can say you know, I want these presets to be the way I want them. I can come in and set up uh, what the colors are, what the title sell it, uh, settings are. I can set up spacing and I can save it. You know, what does it default to? What is, uh, you know, what does it do on mobile? <clears throat> I'm not sure what the what show presets. Well, okay, so this won't be exhaustive, but uh, the other cool thing is I can go to visibility, and I can say, okay, you have to be an admin to change any of the settings on the tabs; otherwise, they're going to stay the default. The user cannot change them. And accordions, here's also some defaults that I can set. And here I've set it so that mm, all users can enable uh, the open and close settings. Let's see, they can change the title tag settings and structure settings. So if they want to make it, say, for example, enable the FAQ uh, schema, they can do that. Or maybe instead of all users, I want, only want editors. They have to be at least an editor to do that. 
And if you want to look up the editor, I mean, I'm sorry, the role hierarchy, uh, just Google WordPress roles and you can see uh, which ones take precedence. I know that admin can see everything. Editor has the next level of uh, access within the admin. I think for the gallery, oh yeah, you can choose Yeah, all the defaults, the way you want it to appear right off the bat. For the gallery, let's say, let's see. Shadows. Uh, maybe we don't want to change any style settings. I don't know. Or, or spacings, let's say. And we want to leave. Oh, we'll leave all that. I'm not going to worry about that right now. And even font family settings. And, you know, say we, we don't want to show any font family settings. We're going to let uh, Generate Press do that. So now it's saved. And I don't think I have to update it. But let's go now. I'm going to open a new private window. I'm going to log in as an editor. This is really turned out to be a long video. I'm sorry. So you can see my nice clean admin for my editors. And I can go to pages. Oh, and I'm, let's see. Get out of that. I think it's still going to show me as editing. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, cadence blocks. Yes, thank you. Okay, look at that. I've selected the tabs and I get no options at all. I can only um, change content, add new tabs, things like that. I can't even add icons, uh, which I probably want to add that back. Or set a default icon for all of them. Now, accordion, I get some of the stuff. So I can make these H2s, H3s. I still get to enable my FAQ settings. I don't know what this max width is. Okay, okay, okay. And we'll delete that. And height. Ooh. And I guess the next level of control I would like is, you know, maybe I keep the structure settings, but I don't want them to be able to control the height or width. But you know what? It's That's nitpicking, so I'm not going to worry about that. In the carousel, you know, I left all the settings, I think. Well, I thought I'd turn the, no, I left the shadow on, I guess. I, there was no, I, I disabled the image settings. But let's say, okay, I just need to get into any page. This is an old animation uh, page. Yeah, here's the settings, like default. So let's say the advanced gallery. Uh, what did I do? Maybe I don't want them to be changing shadows. So I'm going to save that. Let's go back over here and refresh the page. Yeah, refresh the page. So now if I go down to my carousel, I get no shadow options. So this is the kind of stuff I like to see. It Cadence Blocks gives me some great features, some great user interface elements, and it gives me the power over what my editors or my clients can see and do. And I can set up defaults right within WordPress. I don't have to go to my code or anything. Now I still like Git with blocks, and you know, I'm fine in CSS. I'm comfortable with that. I'm okay with customizing that, but you know, maybe you don't want to be filling around in your CSS and you just want to get straight into it. Or maybe the client doesn't have a huge budget and you just need to get in and make some, well, for lack of a better phrase, quick and dirty changes. And you want to hide stuff from clients so they don't get all these options. You want to be able to set the default. So whenever they add a, um, a, a carousel, an image carousel, it looks the same way for every post. Um, the advantage of doing it with CSS is if you need to change the styling, 
you can do that and it will affect everything that's already there. So that's a win for something like GitWid or building your own custom blocks with advanced custom fields. If that's not a big issue, Cadence is pretty great. Uh, it does some neat stuff. And one of the big wins to me was the, uh, the FAQ schema. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I wish GitWid had something like that. Uh, and I also like the fact that um, it doesn't load Font Awesome. It just uh, loads SVG icons. Uh, that's another win. <clears throat> so I guess the biggest downside of Cadence, and I guess you could control all this with CSS, is that you know if your client has 20 image sliders in the site and decides all of a sudden that they want it to um, you know, have different styling for the uh, for the dots or for the um, for the arrows, maybe something like that. I'm thinking you'd have to go into each one individually and make those changes. Uh, you can't do that globally um, because if you make changes to these global settings, whoa! Now that okay, well, just let me finish that thought. If you make changes to the global settings, they uh, those changes will not affect elements that have already been placed within WordPress. Uh, so CSS is a win there. Now I just discovered that I'm an editor and I can still get in and change these settings. Now maybe that's not a big deal, but um, I'd be interested to know if I can hide that from editors because I don't want them going in and changing that. But anyway, it's uh, video is going kind of long. I really just wanted the chance to talk about some other blocks that can complement your setup in uh, WordPress with, uh, well, for me, with Generate Press and Generate Blocks. Um, these are two good, solid choices Cadence and, uh, let's see, yeah, Cadence and GitWid. They both have a great collection of additional blocks. There's some overlap with uh, generate blocks as far as sections and rows and things, but you get some good stuff. It's at least, you know, my top three accordions, tabs, and image sliders. And I, I know there are others uh, for certain scenarios. But yeah, that's it. I hope this was helpful. I hope I didn't ramble uh, too much or jump around too much. Um, please comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, if there's some other stuff related to this that you'd like to see that I may have missed, uh, please subscribe. I'm trying to add more videos. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, see you guys. Have fun developing.